And have you ever had surgery on either of your knees? No, I never had surgery on anything. Jeremy, I guess you've had a week to think that this is a possibility. Hey, have you thought about what these two months have been like, just kind of the whole whirlwind that this has been for you this year? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this season's been, uh, you can talk about ups and downs. It's had, you know, a lot of downs and a lot of ups. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still um, thankful to be here, thankful to be a part of the Knicks, to see this team. Um, how we've grown and, and how we're going to make a push for this uh, for the playoffs and hopefully go deep in the playoffs and um, you know I, it's I think as a team we're doing okay and and we're going to be just fine and uh, um, but it's it's obviously been a very emotional year. Kind of along those lines, Jeremy, is it is it easier to do this now knowing you have proven yourself in the NBA first, or would this have been harder if? You know, maybe you saw doubts in your mind or other people's minds whether you really could play at this level. I mean, if if this was done er, very early in the year, obviously that would. Um, I don't know where my career would be. I could be. I would. I would be uh, definitely without a job, and uh, probably fighting for a summer league spot. Um, but having said that, this happening now uh, hurts just as much because. Um, all the players, we really put our heart and soul into the team and into the season, and to not be there at the end when it really matters the most um, is is hard. I know free agency and all this stuff is a ways off, but when you think of what you went through this year here, is your inclination to try to be back here? Do you feel like this is where your your career is now going to uh, to take you? Oh yeah, I think you know New York, um, the way. Uh, that the city, that, that the fans, um, the writers, the media, everybody, I think, uh, it's been an unbelievable journey. And, um, you know, I, I would love to keep this team together um, as long as we can, everybody, top to bottom. I think um, we're growing as a team. Um, we're finding an identity, and um, we're getting better. And we have so much potential. We have so much talent. And, and uh, you know, I think it's a process in terms of reaching our potential. All right, thanks. So once again, Jeremy Lin, torn left meniscus in the knee. He has elected to have surgery that will keep him out for six weeks. It was a decision that was made on Saturday morning, so nobody knew before today. He is out. They're going to have to go with guys like Baron Davis, Tony Douglas, even a little Mike Bibby at the point guard position. But let's talk about the time frame. Six weeks. Okay, the season ends April 28th, so the playoffs are going to start right after that. DZ, it... it it doesn't figure if New York has this tough first rounder, if they're eight and they face Chicago in that first round. It's going to be incredible <laughs> for him to, one, have the surgery, how he responds, the rehab. Get in shape. Get in shape, get your rhythm, get your timing back. Unless history can strike twice when the Knicks during the lockout season, upset Miami in the first round. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about the Chicago Bulls. We're talking about Derrick Rowe. We're talking about Lou Alden. We're talking about a team that's been playing solid basketball all year long without Derrick Rose. Lou Aldang has missed game. Rip Hampton has been gone pretty much the whole season. Mm -hmm. And they're still, they still have the best record in the NBA. That, so that's why I say Lynn Credible if the <laughs> Knicks can get out of the first round. And you know it's tough for Jeremy Lynn to make the decision to have the surgery now. Yeah. Because don't, he's, yeah. he's done the same math that we've done. We've done. Right. He sat down. He's tried to figure out, okay, if I have it six weeks, can I push it out another two weeks? Uh, can I get through the first round? When, he's gone through all those different scenarios himself, right. but he just couldn't go. So you know it was hard for him to say, look, I've got to shut it down, and let's hope our guys get through the first round. You know, this is so unfortunate because, in fact, uh, Jeremy Lin almost single-handedly saved this New York yes, season. Yes, sir. Yeah, this whole thing yes, kicked yep, in, yes. the whole insanity deal, and yes. they were getting a little momentum going, even though Amari has been sidelined. So... It's unfortunate in a lot of ways because you have, I can't remember a New York season that no. had this many highs and lows in it for the Knicks. And imagine a guy like Jeremy Lin who was a no one in this league. Mm -hmm. He gets on an incredible no, role. Now he's relevant. He's on the tip of everyone's tongue. Now his season is totally cut off. Just think of the emotional roller coaster that he's on. He's got to be wondering, okay, am I going to be able to get back to where I was? I had this incredible break, this incredible opportunity. Darn, now I'm hurt. <laughs> right. And now I understand because last night I went to the Hawks game, got you know some interviews in.
kind of stole a couple interviews from him and he said, you know, I want to talk about my knee. I was like, nah, forget about your knee. I want to talk about you and the story, how it c continues to grow. Now I understand why he didn't want me to talk about his knee last <laughs> night. <laughs> well, it is unfortunate. Jeremy Lin out six weeks. So if the Knicks do have this shot, they will turn to their defense to help sustain. Yes. And that's been a Mike Woodson staple, and it's something that he's implemented this year with the club. <laughs>